hey, we are going to take these a Dollar Tree uh, wood planks or pallets, and uh, here is the you know, not very leafy to see. I can put it in the description box later. Take the stickers off of them, and we're going to make a lantern today in a special. I don't know. We're going to say modern farmhouse, or maybe an it's rustic farmhouse, uh, but. It'll be farmhouse. And we're going to use the, I've got four of these, and we're going to uh, create the lantern with the, uh, the side out. And we're going to make these look like barn doors. Now, I'm going to use some of these wooden popsicle sticks and some of these Dollar Tree blocks. And uh, what we're going to do is take these popsicle sticks and we're going to cut them. A little exclamation. Now there are a couple of different kinds if you want to make those. Um, there is I like the exclamation. There's also the Z formation where you just put one and put the Z across. And uh, there's one that's called a K formation. It's uh, it's difficult, but uh, some people like it. I'm not going to make that because it goes from here and into a little. It's called the K formation. And it makes a cross there like this. Um, I don't know if you've seen any barns like that. Living in Texas here, we'll see many a barn. But they call that a K formation. <clears throat> Since we're not going to have them, them butt up next to each other like actual barn doors do, I'm just going to do a simple X formation because that's what's most immediately uh, recognized by most people. <coughs> so we're going to take your pop our stick. And uh, line it up on each of these spots here, and then draw a line, straight line here and here. Now, some people use these miter shears, and that's all great, but mine are a little bit dull. And I find that a pair of scissors works just just fine, and um, actually better. It doesn't tear up the wood nearly as much. So I'm going to use a few popsicle sticks together to make a straight line here. Check it, make sure it looks good. So it'll set all the way down inside the cross here. And we just cut a few like that. That's it. Now I'll be using eight popsicle sticks in total. So if you do have arthritis like me, you won't hurt yourself you know, for, for just a couple of these. I know that sometimes it's bothersome. Uh, if, if you guys come on long, let me know you're there and say hi to me so that we can chat and I can talk back with you and know that you, you know, care about what it is. I'm saying hi, Maddie. There you go. I'm so glad you're here. I've been talking to myself for a little while. <laughs> Got a little scratchy voice, so I'm sorry about that. I have been sick lately. I have had the worst time trying to shake COVID. So, if that's not there, I can get through to something else will show up. Maddie, you still there? Don't forget what I'm talking about if you're not. One, two, three, four. And it's just a kind of, it, it's not too super time consuming. I am making a barn 
Barn Door Lantern out of the Dollar Tree palettes and some popsicle sticks and hot glue and I think a more of a rustic style. How have you been? I think I've seen you a few times on a few channels that I like to watch live. Ah, uh, last night was horrible. I've been sur I've been pretty sick. I've got um, either bronchitis or pneumonia right now, and it's the uh, the, what they gave me doesn't clear me up. I'm gonna have to go back and actually go into the doctor to see him. I don't. I hate the steroids are horrible. They make me hungry and always want to eat. <laughs> How have you been? I've been, uh, I did want to uh, do the flower of the month challenge for May. I had forgot, I had tried to do that. <clears throat> it was the video last night. But it did not come out very good. So I just, I, I ditched it. Um, I'm going to put that in here. Speaking of, uh, definitely, if you want to, uh, yes, the volume is low, apparently. Uh, this is my older computer. I'm not sure how to uh, make it. I don't know how to make it any louder. Let's see if I can make that any louder. It sounds all the way up. <clears throat> Next time I will get the, uh, I'll get out a mic actual microphone. If I talk louder, can you hear me? Can you hear me any better now? I've been, I am just trying, trying I'm talking low because I'm by myself. And it's, it feels like nighttime. So, like, you know, you put on your nighttime inside voice when you're inside. Plus two, I, I always get nervous being on the lives. I don't, I've been uh, doing it because my phone has been, has broken and I had to send it away. <coughs> it's so, that is kind of annoying. I know, that's right. <coughs> oh, man. Tell you what. I will be happy when this thing, this mess gets gone. You know, all of it. So the world can go back to normal. But just to put a plug in there for the uh, May Flower of the Month Challenge, I, it's open on March the 7th. Every uh, every seventh of every month for this year, hopefully, um, if it doesn't, you know, start getting and gearing up a little better, I may go ahead and stop after just a few months. Uh, next month's um, co-host is Sun from Sun Arts. So uh, I know right? there is no normal. A uh, new normal can take a flying leap as far as I'm concerned. But. Um, Sun is uh, a sweet lady, and if you haven't seen any of her videos, go take a look and um, and check out her homemade type things. She can she can pretty much make anything out of anything. She does a lot of trash to treasure type things that are really really cute. So she's gonna co-host uh, with me in May on the seventh at three p.m. And the flowers of the month for May are the lily of the valley and or the Hawthorne. So you can find some of that anywhere, grab some and make something beautiful with those flowers. And it doesn't matter what it is. You can uh, create a, um, a floral display um, arrangement, uh, wreaths, uh, frames, a table setting using uh, flowers or whatnot. Um, anything is really, uh, invited 3 p.m. C. CST 
that is uh, Central Standard Time, uh, like right there in Texas, Chicago is what you look at, is uh, CST. I'm not sure what it is on the East Coast, uh, but I think it, on the Pacific Coast, it's an hour later. Maybe on EST, it is at 2 p.m. So I, I'd have to look that up. <laughs> I do good knowing what time it is at my house. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, back to making this and not discussing my forget everything. Uh, I do. I forget everything if it's not tattooed on my head. So that's pretty much everything. I think I need to make just one or two more of these, and then I, we can get on to the rest of this because I'm messing around. <laughs> I think this is going to turn out cute, though. I have not been able to do any uh, any videos recently. I know, right? The videos that I've done recently on my phone have been corrupted and I've lost um, a lot of material. So that's why I'm doing live right now is because I can't um, record it at the moment. It really stinks because I like to be able to uh, edit my videos to make sure that they're worthy, you know, even a little bit where you're looking at. I had to uh, had to send my phone off to Dallas to get fixed. And they said it was probably going to be two weeks before I get it back. And I'm not really excited about that. So I bought myself a cheap little $50 phone from Walmart. So that I can at least make a phone call and a, you know a text message with my kids because uh, yeah it's it, it's hard I've got a lot of kids. <laughs> my daughter is due May tenth for her baby. That's my first grandbaby. I'm excited about that, but I'm sorry I haven't been able to upload anything recently. It makes me sad. I do want to know how you're doing. I know. It is crazy. Now, one more. Just let it cut. And then I can stop fooling around with this. Quit fooling around, yeah. Make something. Make something. Make something. Make something. So, why am I not getting a straight cut on these things? Annoying. And that's something that the uh, miter shears are good for, but they just will not cut this little um, these little uh, sticks at all. They get stuck in the middle, and the rocking motion just doesn't make a very nice looking cut. All right, now we got them all, and I think these are going to be fine. Amazing. Wonderful. Yes. All right, now we're going to hot glue. You can use wood glue or um, jewelry glue or whatever, but I am going to use hot glue just so that we can do this video and have everybody take a look while it's online. I uh, just glue a little bit on each little pointed spot. And your placement real good. Pop it on. Now, see if you want it to stop at the Z formation, it just you know, stop right there, and that's going to be really cute. And uh, each of the uh, each of the planks are going to go to the outside like this, and. We'll <laughs> wrong side out. Okay, there we have that. So this is going to be what's going to show on each side. You can turn it sideways and or like this, you know, 
So if you did want to do the uh, K formation, you could put the Ks, you know, uh, starting right here, or, you know, the X or Z, however you want the Zs, you can do them upside down or inside out or whatever. Uh, you know, my, I'm not going to make the scissors. No, these are really good scissors. These are cobalt scissors, so you can't really mess these up. These are awesome. I like cobalt scissors. Tools. I like the tools. Now, with the other one, you can either cut it into, to, uh, you know, if you want to cut it here and place it down inside, you know, to make it uh, more smooth right there, that's good. You can do that if you can get it straight. Now, see, I'm not too uh, confident in getting, the, <laughs> getting the cut straight, so I don't want to do it again. I'm going to go ahead and just put this on. It bends real well, so you can almost not even tell that it's not cut. Yes, I have, uh, I, no, don't use your fabric cut, uh, scissors on your paper. Boy, that'll mess them up. That will mess them up for real. You, you gotta have several, I got several different pair of scissors. Big, big scissors, little scissors, tiny scissors, uh, pink and shears, big giant metal scissors, you know. Can't live life without a pair of scissors now. I even got kitchen shears uh, by Fiskars, and those are pretty awesome. They cut through, uh, you know, chicken bone, um, the uh, chicken uh, cartilage, you know, in between the legs and whatnot. And those, are, I don't use those on anything else either. All right, we should get it uh, locked down. It's gonna look something like that. So we'll just do these other to you. <coughs> so how is your spring cleaning? We did some of that too here at the house. I'm uh, starting to, oh man, I just got glue everywhere. Why are you make a mess like that? Natty, why you make me make a mess? <laughs> wow. And the more I try to fix it, the worse it is. Fun thing with glue, uh, hot glue is though, you can just basically peel it away and it'll come off and you can fix it. But the fun part about crafting your own items is that you can make it look as good as you want. If you mess it up, you start over and it, you're good. But you know, when you buy stuff from the store, I always, I, that's my per personal pet peeve is buying something at the store or uh, looking, looking at something in the store and there's only one or two things and you look and there's big old globs of glue on, on it or it's discolored somewhere and you know it's because whoever put it together wasn't paying any attention. You'll have uh, like even on jewelry, jewelry glue. I hate that. If I think I can fix it, I'll go ahead and buy it and take it home. But it annoys me when people don't do, you know, try to make it look nice. <clears throat> Being a perfectionist can suck sometimes, though, too. I will procrastinate because I don't want to do something. I think it's going to take forever. And it usually does because I want to mess with it too long. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to show that to you in a minute. I hope you're going to stick with me for a little bit. As soon as I get this together, I'll show you something that I did make that I did not get to. I made a video of, but the video was gone by. I had worked on this, uh, you know, last week before I lost my phone. And it made me so sad because uh, this is really super cute. The, um, the box is from uh, Dollar Tree. And I just painted it black and I found some like that kitchen paper that I've been doing my kitchen series on. This is supposed to be a part of the kitchen series. And these little, this little forks and spoons are from the Dollar Tree. And I just took them and I painted them, uh, you know, a dark brown. And then uh, did a little cream colored, uh, 
whitewash on it a little bit and put those in there. And I just thought they turned out so cute and I can't get a good, a good visual on that, but I lost the video on it and it made me so mad because I thought it was really, really cute. And uh, one of the other things that I had made uh, for the twine it up uh, challenge uh, with, the, oh, I can't remember who does it and it makes me angry because I was going to look it up before I got online with y'all, but I had made this for the twine it up challenge. It's a, uh, just a plastic container. I think I'm keeping my pounces in there and put the twine on all around, did a little braid at, with the white twine and I handmade the flower too. Everything on, on the plastic bin is, is made that just a burlap piece. And I thought it turned out so cute. And I went to go look at the video and it was gone. It was corrupt. It said corrupted. And I was like, no, because it took me two hours to make this. <laughs> so I won't be getting to, to uh, take part in that challenge. And that, that was so upsetting to me. And I, so I, I'm really hoping that they'll be able to fix the, um, my phone soon and that I can get it back. And be able to start making videos again because my phone makes good videos they just do so much it's um like super hd or something like that but they all all my videos always look so good and they're makes them easier to uh to edit when they look decent uh it did you think it was cute uh the little twine no my dt didn't have, i know you're talking about the houses aren't you that your your dollar tree doesn't have that Hi, Teresa. It's so good to see you. Was just just talking to Natty about not being able to uh, get my videos published because they were corrupted. So I had made some stuff, and I joke this thing I made for the Twine It Up challenge, and I won't be able to be in it. I can make the little flower and everything, and a little thing for Chris for Christmas. Yeah, I made this for Christmas. Actually, I made it, <laughs> it's part of my kitchen series uh, with Dollar Tree items, and that was corrupted. And uh, there was a, a couple other things that I had made, and I was so upset. And so I had to go, I decided to go live and see if I could make something, but it's hard to talk and do anything at the same time. <laughs> and I tried to do it with Annie one time, and it's, it's not easy. So we're making a, um, I'm making a barn door lantern, Teresa. So what we're doing is taking these little pallets from the Dollar Tree. And we're taking the uh, popsicle sticks and making an X formation on the outside here look like the barn doors there were a couple of different kinds that i was looking at and uh, i think i decided on the x formation because it's just mostly what people recognize more as a barn door using a little hot glue and popping it together there now what's going to make this more of a rustic style is that I'm going to go with the gray wash instead of the uh, red and white. You know, that's kind of like old McDonald's, you know, old, old McDonald's farm is red and white. And I think it's really cute. But uh, I want to do something that's going to match with my theme and we have different colors. So the gray wash looks like old weathered wood you know from the outside that you need to gather up together so how i'm going to we're going to put this together before we paint it okay and then make sure that our stuff is glued down real good so that it doesn't come apart i wouldn't like that very much and how we're going to glue it together inside to make it look square is take these little Dollar Tree wood blocks that I was talking about earlier, and we're gonna put it down here on the box. I wanna make this a little bit more flat. 
so that it's good. So what I'm going to do, take this little glue, or take, yes, I'm going to take this little glue blob and put it here and glue it down straight on the inside flush, flush across here. Um, that's too dark. All right. Uh, I'm getting so much bright. I thought maybe it'd look a little better if I turn that off, but it's not. Uh, anyway, this is what I'm talking about. Yes, just straight across. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to take this other one and put it on this side. Yeah, everything that I've had lately has just, uh, anything that's mechanical has just crapped out. Like, I have, I have no idea what's wrong. I have uh, zero and everything out. My phone, my computer, this computer is the one that I'm using right now. It doesn't hold anything. I had to get a new computer to do my videos on. And uh, a few other things. I have a spider coming to see me. I don't want you, spider. Go away. Whoa. You're scary looking spider. Mm -hmm. We're not working with the spider. Oh! I'm sorry. <coughs> 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 All right. No, I don't want a spider jumping up on me while I'm trying to do this. Okay. So we're going to take the next one, and we're going to go right butt up against this. We're going to leave this little spot right here, that, and it's going to stay, you know, like a little V. What? I know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, me. Oh, me. Actually, no. You know, I don't like that way down up there. I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna try to pop that one off. Hopefully, it gets too dry. I want to go down a little bit so you can't see it. That would look better. You know, from the top, if you're looking down, I don't want to just see a block right there. So, but um, we're gonna change that. Let me put it down a little bit further so that that's not the first thing you see when you come look on it. When you look upon it, I want it to see beauty. Boo boo. You know what I mean? Ooh, ooh. Hey. Hi. What, what you doing, Dean? It's good to see you. If I knew anything about how to do all this, I will learn at some point in time on how to uh, get moderators and stuff like that and where y'all can drop your own links. But what I will do is when you guys are through, when I'm through with this video, everybody who watched that I know has a channel, I'm going to put your uh, link in the description box or honestly, knock yourself out and put it in the comments, uh, you know, yourself, make it an, you know, a link, put your link there so that anybody can click on it. Um, and if it doesn't work like that, I'll just put it in the description box because I really appreciate that y'all are watching. And D. Last night, my video just wasn't working for me. I was doing the um, uh, invitation for the Flower of the Month Challenge in May. And it just, it did not suit my fancy. But the May Challenge will take place on May the 7th at 3 p.m. CST, Central Standard. And the, uh, the flowers are... The Lily of the Valley and or the Hawthorn. And I want you to make anything you want. I mean anything. From a table tablescape, uh, wreaths, uh, arrangements, decorate something, decorate your living room. Um, any this is something that anybody from all across the uh, DIY channels to be a part of. Just use these flowers, use one or the other in something for the springtime, for, for the May time. It's not quite uh, summer yet, I don't think. 
Okay, I'm sitting there holding that. No, I'm going to put this on here. Just get a little bad blue glue right there. Butt it up nicely. And you're welcome, Teresa. I just think that's the least of my problems is adding somebody else's link to my stuff. You know, we all make a lot of the same things. Um, because they're what po what is popular right now, we see them at Kirkland's or you know Restoration Hardware or CB2, just anywhere we like to look for crafts. We all end up making something, and then somebody else has made it too. <laughs> and I find out about it later, and I'm like, oh man, I was going to do that, or oh man, I just uploaded that too. I hope I nobody thinks anything bad about it. Uh, cause you know, you don't always, you don't always catch it right away, but see, there we go. We're going to, it's square and that's what we got to have on the out. So I'm going to take these little blocks, dig out some more blocks and, uh, do the same thing all around. So what are y'all working on right now? Anybody, uh, got some exciting new a series going on or for holiday stuff. I think Teresa is going to be doing a red, white, and blue something or other here pretty soon, aren't you? I was kind of excited about that. I like I like to do patriotic things because my whole family was in the military. So doing patriotic stuff is just something we have those designs around for any patriotic holiday. <clears throat> That's right. Oh, it, oh, you're doing something tomorrow. Bloomer creativity. What's that about? Tell us about it. Tell us about it. Pasta. Oh, I like pasta. We had ravioli tonight for supper, Natty. Yes, the 18th. Good. That means I'm going to have to get my act together. Oh, I think I, let me see, May 18th. I should have my phone back by then. So I can uh, do some and enter that challenge. I sure would like to do that. Oh, fun. I'm actually crafting out of my new craft room. The Freckled Mom is the host for tomorrow. It's DIY with flowers. Oh, so she, she got something going on with some flowers, too. Awesome. Does it matter what kind of flowers, Teresa? That sounds nice. I think flowers are such a springtime thing. You got to make some... You gotta make some flower stuff, things, crap, crap and stuff, stuff and crap. I need two more of those little boxes. Here they are. Throw all my stuff in a bin, in the little crazy bin of stuff from uh, the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> No specific flowers. Is it anything in particular? Just anything with flowers. So we're not making any, you know, we, we, as if we can uh, make it. it. Makes me so mad, but don't, I will be watching. I will be watching and I will comment and enjoy that flower uh, deal. Just, I know Freckle Mom is kind of new to this. I've been at it for almost a year or around, yeah, right at a year. And it 
you know, if it's not one thing, it's another. This last year has been a pain in the butt for everybody. Alrighty, we about got this looking like it's together. Let's try me again. Oh my gosh. I would I got oh I, I wish I could turn this. I I put um some stuff up on the uh wall with some baskets. I lost my other basket. But they're little little um plastic baskets and I took some hook and loop uh you know velcro, stuck it on the wall and I put all my flowers in there so I know what flowers I got because they were all in a box and I never knew I dig in I may have messed with it. So now I got them sticking up on the wall. And I have a lot more pink flowers than I really need. So I need to make something with some pink flowers. <laughs> I, yes. Thank you for that. That is so neat, Teresa. Um, she's donating all her things to the Fisher House. And that's awesome. I think that's really, really cool. All right. We've got our little box made. Ta-da. Now, what I'm going to do is paint it with uh, this Waverly chalk paint in steel. And that's going to be our first coat <clears throat> of working with. Now, if I don't get to show you the finished product today, I will at least take pictures and maybe add it as a uh, thumbnail later. If y'all get bored, because, you know, there's only so much yapping you can do while I'm crapping crap. Crap and stew. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> there was one other thing I was thinking too that if uh, you didn't particularly like the open spots right here, is you can take a dowel and plug it in right there, which I'm thinking about doing. Which do y'all think looks better? Uh, the uh, divot in the wood, like this. Or with a round piece that looks, you know, like um, like maybe uh, hinges or something. What do you think? Y'all vote. With or without? With or without? You think it's more rustic without? So we're going to paint it. I'm not going to paint the inside because that's just useless waste of paint because we're not going to see it. So we're going to do the outside. And I'm going to pour some of this paint in the chunk of paint. Uh, I am making a barn door a rustic barn door uh, lantern for anywhere. You can put it in your bedroom. That's actually where it's going in mine is in the bedroom. Uh, our bedroom is done in Modern Farmhouse. <clears throat> I just went and checked out the Habitat for Humanity in Waco uh, today for the first time. I did not even know we had one. A friend of mine said uh, she had gone and that it was crap. They didn't have anything. And so I just kind of put it off and I went and I found some stuff. I got some um, <clears throat> some glass and I found a pair of uh, door shutters that I'm going to put on our bathroom door and make our door out of that. And uh, I was actually looking for some bathroom fixtures and didn't really find any of those though. But I found a couple other nice things that I'm going to try to put in to some videos. Let's see if I haven't knocked them over. I found two of these. 
and I don't, I think they was, these were on a bed, you know, making a bed head uh, stand or the the uh, footboard, and I took out the screws that were in here because they screwed on to something. But I th I found two exactly alike, and I thought these would be cute to make candle holders out of. They sort of look like salt and pepper shakers, don't they? <laughs> but I'm, that I found those there, and I thought it was really cute. I wish there was more that had been more stuff, but uh, there really wasn't nothing that I could actually use. There was a lot of building materials that I think could have been nice. They had a big big packs of wood out back that you could get. Y'all is expensive. Uh, I found I got some um, door pulls, you know, drawer pulls and door handles for my bathroom. The uh, they're silver with the uh, ceramic. Yeah, I got ceramic handles on them, and I could only find three, and they were only a dollar each. And then I got the pulls, the drawer pulls that were uh, ceramic, and I got those were fifty cents each. So I grabbed that, and now my bathroom looks a little, it, it looks updated, and it's um, kind of in a neat, I don't know, it makes it look different. I don't know. You change the um, hardware on your drawers and cabinets, and it updates a whole room. And I thought, I don't know, I thought that was kind of a good price because there, yeah, some of the other stuff wasn't. I will tell you, I will admit that. There was some stuff I was like, woo, you could buy that new. And I'm not going to buy it. But the whole point, it was like a big garage sale, basically. <laughs> but it was more, um, I think, uh, they had it organized. And I'm completely disorganized. I am, a, I am a Virgo, and I am totally disorganized. Seriously. And everybody's like, Virgos are supposed to be, oh, shut up. You know, I just shut up. Don't tell me. I can tell you I would rather be organized, but I just can't do it. I can't ever find anything unless it's a mess. So Teresa, uh, Teresa, yes, Teresa is going to be um, doing the flower thing tomorrow with the freckle, freckle mom. What are you working on, D? Are you doing anything for uh, this next week? A video, me, a sneak peek, a little sneak peek. Now I don't really care if this is like a full. I guess coverage because we're going to make it, you know, uh, dry brush it with some white and some uh, darker charcoal to give it that weather dirty effect that you would find outside. Now, I don't know if very many people know this, but we actually did sort of have, you know, a farm. farm. This is the first time I've ever lived in the city. And um, we have horses, pigs, uh, dogs, cats, and a turtle. So, yeah. I haven't ridden horses in a while. I hurt myself, so I don't do that. And our, we still got our, we still got one pig. She's great big. If you, uh, if you friend me on Facebook, you could definitely see our beauty. She enjoys the city of Waco. And we used to live out in the country, and so she has really adapted well since we moved. Good night, girl. Have a good one. I'm glad you came to see me for a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really a very exciting um, uh, live person. I normally craft quietly. I don't. I I don't listen to music. 
I don't talk. I just, I, most of the time I go inside my own head and I guess it's my thinking time. It's my relaxing time, I guess. I don't think about stuff. I try not to make mistakes. <laughs> Y'all tell me something. Tell me something good. Y'all looking forward to the kids getting out of school for summer? Or have you, are you about ready to put your kids back in school because you've had enough of them at home from COVID? Ugh. Plus two, where are y'all from? I'd like to know more about you too. Really? I can't I can't chew gum and walk, D. How do you watch TV and, and or have something on your head and craft at the same time? I would so totally mess it up. Amazing. I have to stop, cough, and do that. Or I would just make a mess out of it. <laughs> I can't listen to the radio for sure. I would end up seeing la, na, 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 singing whatever sound music I'm listening to. But I don't know. I, I might try that, see if it was if it's relaxing or helpful. I damn sure couldn't watch TV. Oh girl, you ain't got no messed up videos. I watch your videos, they're cute. You know, I think that all this, uh, all our crafting and stuff is just a good way to make some, make friends all over. Because not a whole lot of visiting in person going on anyway, except maybe with some, with family. So I do enjoy getting to uh, meet new people and do what people are, you know, talking. What do you mean it looks professional? You have to see it up close. <laughs> You're sweet. I appreciate that. <laughs> I want it to look good. Like I was telling Maddie earlier, if it's if it doesn't look right at the I mean blue blobs, blue blobs on stuff is my pet peeve on purchased items at the store. Yes, I know they, they are just mass producing certain things, but I just oh man, blue blobs are annoying to me so bad. Uh, what is your uh, fa what is your favorite thing to make? What do you uh, dress your house? What are your design styles? I used to used to be into like the real the glam glam stuff. No, you can't edit mistakes. <laughs> I know. It's like you try not to try not to mess it up too bad, so you're not looking at extremely foolish like wow i should have known better <laughs> i shouldn't have done that that looks terrible that's why certain glue is, is uh forgiving super glue is not forgiving let me tell you that right now and super glue i will get i, I don't care if i am gluing something way over here or right here, and it only needs one drop. I'm getting it on me. I cannot use super glue. It is amazing to me because I will just be waiting and worrying about it. I'm going to get that on. I know I'm going to get it on me. And I do.
What do you what like is it? What do you uh, decorate your house in? I would like to know that. Victorian. Oh. Oh, I bet, I bet you you can make some really pretty things, uh, D. That's if you uh, did you go to school for interior design? You said you actually studied interior design. That's did you go to college for that? <clears throat> I thought about that doing uh, graphics design, and um, I kind of didn't. And I I don't know if I if I'm, I'm glad I didn't or not, because I like art. I'm very artistic. I can't ever really do one style, uh, you know, make my mind up about it. So I know that most decorators would cringe at this. Is every room in my house is a different theme? <laughs> my I do not do. I don't do the same theme throughout my home. There's no way. I would get bored of looking at the same stuff all the time. So I have uh, modern farmhouses in my um, in our be bedroom. Um, our bathroom is nautical, uh, sea nautical. The uh, the front bathroom. I am not quite ready to. I guess stand on anything yet i have uh, <clears throat> i'm trying to either go the uh, coastal like beach coastal you know with peaches and sand that kind of stuff the front room is uh, more of a modern um mid-century modern in my front room and my kitchen is uh Old oh, is chickens. Okay, my, my my kitchen is chickens. So I guess you could call that rustic farmhouse because I'm I love chickens. Chickens are cute. I like pretty much any animal. But and uh the uh my guest room, I'm thinking about doing in uh an you know exotic like African with a black and prints i love cheetah print mm. are you laughing at my chicken don't you laugh at my chicken those are my chickens my chickens is cool i laugh at my chickens too i got all kinds of chickens <laughs> oh my gosh I do that too. I will arrange my furniture too. But uh, the front room is that my is a mid-century modern style, and <clears throat> I just don't know. Like I said, the guest room I want to do and maybe a, um an African uh, layout because you know with elephants and giraffes and the browns and the cheetah prints and I, oh warm. It always feels so warm at the um. uh you know with that i guess it's cozy it, it just feels good and i and warm i don't know africa's hot what are you gonna do so that's what i'm thinking okay it'll be warm but then again texas is hot i don't like it i hate hot weather but i don't mind being warm in the winter obviously <clears throat> y'all still haven't told me what style you decorate in what style is your home? Oh, I know D. I have five boys. Five boys. Six if you count my husband. And one girl. I have never decorated until now. All my boys are, are grown and gone. And so I'm empty nesting, and I've decided I'm gonna decorate my house. So I've uh, done a lot of make, you know, hand making of a lot of my decorations, and uh, second hand decor that I have found that people get rid of. It's amazing some of the stuff you can find that people don't understand. Just what this is. Uh, 
then it's cool. Come on. I guess I'm just old. I love mid century modern. The, uh, you know, the uh, geometrics and stuff like that. I grew up in Southern California with uh, avocado green and that orange, orange color. And that's what I call it because it's bright. All right. We got our gray scoped out. Now we're going to put a little bit of a whitewash on it. But while it's drying for a sec, I was going to show you a few of my finds that I got. Oh, I can't stand the hot. The humidity is horrible. It's horrible. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I did not birth five kids. I was counting my husband as one of the boys. I have, <laughs> I have four, four boy children. And then you count my husband, that's five. And then you got one girl. Here is a base that I found at the uh, Habitat for Humanity. And it probably came from the dollar store at some point in time, but it's got ridges all through it. And I thought I would do this in a, um, you know, one of those textured paints that looks like, um, like stone, stoneware. Oh, I think this would be gorgeous. I'm trying to do, uh, do a little bit, a couple more boho things soon. Oh, the Caribbean. You, oh, I know it's hot and humid there too. Girl, we all, it's like hell hot in, in Waco when the summer hits. We have had, I think last year we had um, like a couple of months of over 100 degree weather. And that was horrible. All right, now to make the uh, dry brush, I'm going to use this old, I mean, this is an actual bristle brush. And that's going to, this is going to make a messy line, messy. It's supposed to look messy. <clears throat> that's my secret way of opening caps that have gotten a little tight. <laughs> Now, I'll just take a little bit of, uh, y'all all know what dry brushing is, but I'm sure, hopefully, hopefully another, other people will watch. And don't forget to like uh, my stream. I think that's supposed to help with my time, but, you know, I don't really know how the, uh, all, all the algorith algorithms really work for YouTube, but it makes me happy if you, if you like it. <laughs> If you like it, I'll remember that you were here, too. I can't remember my first name most of the time. All right, so we're going to try this out. Now, normally when you paint the barn, you go paint with the, with the grain of the wood. So I'm going to see how much paint I got on here first. Get a little bit messed down here. Mess up here. Now, if you need to get into like the grooves and you want it to look a little bit more of a, um, you know, cohesive, blah, hair and mouth, then you can take a smaller brush to get more of that line that you're looking for that gives you that look. Some people just go all out messy and that's fine too. That actually looks pretty good sometimes. So you can do it in this style. So that, you know, that goes with what most grain goes with, you know, straight with the lines of your wood. Like you bought two by fours, like a real barn door. Let's see, you just make a mess of it. Because this is, this is outside and it's, it's been in the weather, it's chipping, it's like, 
something bad happened. But then it turns out looking like something good happened. Make sure you get a few really bright stripes. Do a few little sna snaggles. Can you see it? Or, yeah, man, my camera's junk. Solid scrub brush. You know, this would actually work for a coastal theme, too. You can take, take and do like this and uh, put some rope hanging down across here. Um, you know, or a uh, little fish, you know, the little tiny fish hanging off. Some shells uh, glued to the X here. Um, that would be cute. I, I actually think that would be cute. So you could, yeah, this could be used for more than just a rustic farmhouse. It could be a beach farmhouse. I think you could do beachy farmhouse. Now, with this being all finished, I think there are a lot of ideas that you could do with this little thing as a lantern. Uh, you put one of the poppet lights in here and just punch the button and it turn on uh, fairy lights. Would it be really super cute? Uh, you could even drop it down over a candle and light a candle. You know, one that you know didn't catch the wood on fire. We wouldn't want that. And um, <clears throat> you could even put a little uh, little pot with flowers in there and have the flowers coming out. Uh, I think that they're, they're, this has a lot of potential for any room in the house that you like to decorate with uh, the farmhouse look. Or uh, I don't really think this could go farmhouse coastal or co have a coastal look to it. So I was... I really want to thank you guys for staying with me. It's a, uh, it's been right at about an hour and I just want you to know how much I appreciate that you, that you came on and spent this time with me. And, um, I, you know, I've been, I've been kind of sick and, uh, it was a good thing to be able to get back in the craft room and start doing things. 
and visit with you, D. And Natty, Natty, I, I just love you. You have been on every live stream I've done, and I, I really appreciate you. Um, and uh, Teresa's not here. No, it, this wasn't my first live. I've only done a couple other ones, but um, I'm not much. I don't, I don't like to be on camera a whole lot, if you can't tell. I do get nervous talking on camera because uh, I don't really know what to say while I'm trying to do stuff. <laughs> and it's not hard to explain how to do this. This is not really, it doesn't take a lot of creativity to think this up, but <clears throat> this was mostly just to spend some time with anybody who wanted to come on and, and say hi. And I, I really appreciate you so much. So you guys have a really good night. I'm going to uh, take some pictures of this with my phone and make a, a, a thumbnail, a thumbnail of what this will look like, you know, in some different kind of situations to see what you think. Um, but leave me a comment in the comments. Um, if you have a link uh, to your uh, place, you know, your uh, YouTube, uh, leave that in your com in the comments, um, and I will put it up in the description box. So I, I'm going to let y'all go for the night. Thanks a bunch.